<laughs> As we begin our official proceedings for the Cooper Tires USF 2000 Championship powered by Mazda to, uh, award ceremony, I would like to acknowledge some special guests that are with us tonight. USF 2000 is blessed to have so many great partners, and some of those are here. John Noonan and Dean Case from Mazda. The CEO of Extreme TM representing Cooper Tires, Nikki Stauber. Jason Penix from IndyCar. Steve Knapp from Elite Engines. Skip Williamson and Alan O'Leary from Carl Haas. And now to kick things off, I'd like to bring Dan Anderson back to the stage. about the USF 2000 Championship, where we've been, where we're going, and a little bit about why we do this. The USF 2000 Championship has always been about developing drivers, and in 2010, it was resurrected after a three-year hiatus to provide complete training and exposure opportunities for the drivers who will fill IndyCar and sports car seats in the years to come. Our history, in fact, goes back to 1990, and this is our 20th season of USF 2000 competition. <clears throat> in the coming months, we'll be adding to our website all the results sheets, records, and driver histories all the way back to 1990. And in reviewing some of that history recently, it strikes me as to how many former drivers have made careers in the sport after starting out with us. And that's why we do it. The F2000 formula seems to continue to work. Since we revived the series, we went from a slow start in 2010 to this, our third season, with not only the tremendous growth we've seen, but also the addition of a television package, thanks to our friends at Mazda. Indeed, as Gerardo uh, did the welcomes for some of our partners. We have some great relationships with some great companies. Mazda is great. Uh, it's simply a wonderful car company. Uh, I buy them in my other businesses. Uh, they are great cars. And the company is staffed by true racers. They also built some great MZR engines, as you guys should all know. These engines just keep lasting. Cooper Tires supplies terrific tires. Uh, we made a great choice with them as well. We've just expanded our contract with them to continue for three more seasons after this year. Our partnership with Carl Haas is also very effective. They are true professionals in the parts supply business. And I know they've got some great awards tonight that uh, reflect some of the feelings that people have when they have to pay for parts, <laughs> but it is what it is. They are great at what they do, and I'm very happy to have them as our partner. Steve Knapp's Elite Engines is the best engine shop in the country, in my opinion. I looked at five or six engine shops when I started this. Um, one of my best choices, Steve Knapp. We have other great partners in VP, PFC, Tilton, Bosch, Cosworth Racing, Racing Communications, and several others. And, and these people all help us put this program together and basically help fund this opportunity for all the drivers that are using this as a career step. Through our partnership with IndyCar, we're also provided not only with sanctioning, but with some terrific training programs. They provide us with some leadership guidance, and they assist us, assist us in our schedule. And I want to thank IndyCar for all that they do for us as well. The bottom line is that all of these partnerships and relationships help us build a program that delivers real value to the racers and to the teams. The future of F2000, in my opinion, looks bright. Uh, 
I'm an optimist by nature, so maybe that's typical of me, but uh, I think we've really turned a corner and uh, this year has, has been terrific. And as we saw in the video, you drivers, you don't get to see what we see. Uh, you put on some great shows, you really do, and it's exciting and it's fun to watch and it's fun to see everybody progress through the season, get better and better at their racecraft, and then we follow your careers as you move up. Very gratifying. With regard to our schedule getting down the road, we're not quite ready to release it entirely, but I am pleased to announce tonight that we have confirmed a two-year deal with Green Savory for their three IndyCar events which includes Toronto, and our Canadian friends will like that a whole lot. That fills our gap in, uh, in early July. We had a big break in the past couple of years, and that fills that gap nicely. We'll also open the season again at the 12 Hours of Sebring, thanks to John Doonan. He helps us with that event every year, and I deeply appreciate that. It's a great place for us to start. And uh, we'll do our winter series pretty much the same as last year. So look for the full schedule coming out soon. Uh, we've got five of the seven races done. Hopefully we'll have it done in the next couple of weeks. That's about it from me. Um, later we'll talk a little bit. Someone else I think has on their agenda to talk about my terrific staff. All I want to say is that I am surrounded by true professionals. Uh, the people that actually do all the work for me are terrific and I, I, you guys may not know all that they do behind the scenes, but they do the work and, uh, and I really appreciate all that they do. One last group I do want to talk about are the teams. Having been a team owner, uh, I have a heart for team owners. It's difficult to be a team owner in a junior formula race business and you guys make it happen. You put out a professional product for what maybe the parents think is a high budget, but what I know is a tight budget. And I, I will always do everything I can to make this series an effective place for teams to survive and thrive, because you guys are the continuity. You're here year after year, and I want to say thank you to all that you do for us, the teams of USF 2000. Thank you. That's it for me. Let's get back to why we're really here, the drivers, the real future of open wheel racing, and the reason we all do this. 